Oh, kill him! What is up, guys? And welcome to the Beyond Standards channel. My name is Shanks, and today we are once again on the map Forts of Eisen in BFME 1 on the page 2.22. It's gonna be a video commentary in a one on one between good and evil. We have the red corner player, Balrog, and his opponent, the blue mortal player, Balinduru CW. And that's a new meta threat, by the way. Starting with Haradrim Palace, okay? No Orpid, who needs Orcs if you have those strong Haradrims? They're also cheap, and it means they are very affordable, and for that reason, they are a very good choice to fight against soldiers, is the counter Swordman. Smart move, you wanna, you know, delay them before they can reach to your settlement as long as possible, and you wanna wait for your Haradrims. But in an ideal situation, you wanna have one Orc defending the Haradrim so the soldiers can't chase them. In a melee fight, they will lose, and they need to always keep their range to keep attacking. But this will kind of cause Gondor to retreat. The economy from Mordor, not so hot, but obviously, it's going to be changed as long as those two settlements are remaining under his control, and Haradrims will I shoot. I will represent the men of Gondor. Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. Really means a lot. Yeah, please. Nice catch here on this Haradrims. One of them has been taken down, but he's going to eventually have a second one. No, he has no money for it. His Orc Pit, the Orc uh, Produce Time is going to be 30 seconds, and that's what I'm talking about. You want to always have protection for the Haradrims. And they actually couldn't deal any damage. Heal has been used, that means Mordor can now go for the Eye of Sauron, and it's, that's going to be also his choice. And now, Gondor has taken some damage on this one soldier, but the other soldier is pretty healthy. And maybe he can get level 2, but there is another Haradrim. Kill some Haradrims and you will get level 2. But I don't think it's going to change anything about the situation. He gets level 2, but he has no more units remaining. And even though it could be executed well, well better for the Mordor player, but he still defended himself without taking any economical damage. So losing units is obviously not the best, but losing structures is even worse. For that reason, for me personally, this was a good call. And I believe during all this time, this Hobbit or Gollum was denying Gondor from capturing this one, you know? And very smart move there. They have four farms into the stable. Mordor's eco is going to be looking good with the Haradrims. He can now even creep multiple war players simultaneously. That's pretty decent. And he's going to use one of them to creep the top side. And this one, I don't, I don't know what he's doing actually. You don't need to int them, and you can't creep with them without having any front line. Why? Because that's gonna happen. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Looks like Haradrim is back on the menu, boys. <laughs> okay, in the meantime, he has now three slaughterhouses in the castle. That's pretty good. Runes will be recruited to kind of counter the Knights of Gondor. They cost the same amount of, like, the pikemen from Isengard. But they are not as fast as them. And they've also not the chance to buy any upgrades. That's the weakness of Mordor. But for that reason, to compromise that weakness, you have, like, crazy amount of leadership. And Hobbit is throwing rocks from a safe distance, so it's gonna take him wh a while to creep this, actually, you know. And maybe Boromir and Farami will be needed, because the weakness of the Haradrims are actually heroes. That means Boro, Farah, especially Boromir, can actually outrun the runes in Haradrims and chase them down. And because the weakness of them being heroes, Boro should be in a good spot, you know. Creeping action here with the runes, no problemo. One trample to rule them all, took heavy damage though. And maybe you want to try to contest this. Very important, I believe the Knights of Condor should be able to get the last hit, but you never know. Nah, the runes took it. And the money? Actually, at least Condor took the money, but the last hit was taken by the runes. They are almost level 2, that's gonna unlock the self-recovery over time. And this Lumber Mill has not been destroyed a single time until now. Gondor being able to capture this outpost that's pretty decent, and he's gonna go for Faramir to defend this outpost against the rune soldiers and Haradrims. There is some pressure on the farms, Mordor being very strong in the patch 2.22, because the orcs are also able to destroy those farms way quicker, way faster, compared to the older patches. Beautiful. I mean, the runes everywhere, you can't fight them, you have no upgrades, you have no heroes. And Mordor can keep spamming them. That's one way to play Mordor against Gondor. But in this situation, you as Mordor, you want to have the outpost control, okay? Because Gondor has now the outpost at the top side. And you want to make sure that you take the one at the bottom at least. You know what I mean? 
and Boromir would be needed. But Gondor is investing lots of money into the outpost. That's gonna delay his uh, castle to be fully built up. And he has only one blacksmith. So going for the upgrades in this situation is going to be a big mistake because you will have to pay the full price. And the full price is actually a lot. Like 600 for each of these upgrades beside the shields, you know? And that's a lot of money. A lot of money. Going for the archer range, realizing, okay, I can't get any further with my, you know, with my Knights of Condor, but he can still creep, and that's exactly what he's doing. He's gonna also capture the second outpost at the bottom left side, and Mordor taking over the map, though. With the runes, he's also creeping at the bottom right, and also with the orcs. He's pressuring non-stop, and his eco is looking not too bad at all. He has almost two power points in the bank that will unlock either Industry or the Scavenger. In this situation, Industry would be a better choice. Creep secured by Gondor. Money also will be taken by the Gondor player, Balrog, okay? He has two power points. That's exactly the amount of power points you need to turn your Gan of the Grey into the Gan of the White. And Boromir just in time. And now you will see, you can't get away from Boromir. He's gonna use the formation and fight them, but he can knock you down on the ground all the time and eventually beat you. Actually, the runes being quite tanky in the formation. But, you know, that just will make them survive a bit longer. But that's all about it. It's gonna be free experience also for Boro. And remember, his level 4 is crucial. Industry has been used on the front one. That's gonna also help the industry to uh, the slaughterhouse to reach level 3 way faster. And the money from Mordor is going crazy. The creep at the top side is still remaining. Gondor, considering the weak start, was still able to get a lot of creeps. I believe he took all of them beside two, and that's three, maybe. But that's pretty good, because he had a very bad start. He has three Knights of Gondor, now has finally more blacksmiths. And again, each of them will make your upgrades cost less. But I believe he, he also lost Faramir. I don't know how he lost Faramir. There comes the Eye of Sauron to, to destroy the archer range ASAP. The runes are coming. The archers need to make it to the outpost as soon as they potentially can. One of them has been taken down, but he might recover. He will recover it well. And they have a statue here, which only gives you 50% increased damage instead of 100, like it was in the all the patches. And you want to aim the things you can't kill with your horses. And these are the runes, because your orc, the orcs can be cleaned by the Gondor Knights. No problem. The runes are using the formation to become more tanky. Nice save on the statue, but the well has been destroyed. A level 3 orc with the black orc passive unlocked. There comes the great company to save the outpost, but that again means that Gondor has no power points now to turn his Gandalf into the white. And he has also no money for that, you know, because he's going for upgrades. He went for his shields. And that's a big mistake because Mordor has 8,000 by now. So Mordor is very rich, but you as Gondor need to see that coming. You see no trolls, so you will have. To have a feeling about there is going to be a Nazgul very soon and in the worst case scenario potentially even a Witch King that's exactly going to be the case. The runes are outrunning getting away from those you know rangers nice one hiding behind the structure a level two slaughterhouse over there over there trample time okay and Witch King You heard him, boys. You heard him. Do not come between the Nazgul and his prey. The archers are destroying the orcs, but the Witch King is going to be there just in time. You have no upgrades. You have no leadership beside the almost half-destroyed statue. And only one archer without fire arrow can't deal with the king himself. It's not a witch. That's a witch king. And he's destroying the statue too to get a lot of power points. He has five power points collected so far in the bank. He has 2,000, but it looks like he's refusing to go for the troll cage and wanna save up. Never mind. He's he was just cash floating. One of the slaughterhouses being destroyed. It's gonna be built up with a troll cage. And he should be just fine. The outpost just cancel it. You at least get the money back. Industry will be used for the second time. Very powerful power point for the evil factions to get lots of eco boost. That's a very good advantage against good factions. If there are plenty of summons, triple blacksmith, but zero protection at the outpost, and Gandalf will be recruited. However, it's going to be only Gan of the Grey. And the weakness of Gan of the Grey is there are multiple weaknesses. First of all, his abilities will deal half the damage 
compared to the damage of Gun of the White, but he can't even use Easter Delight when he's Grey, okay? Keep that please in mind. Bunch of Knights, but what can they do against a flying creature? Paramir, I believe, has been taken down for the second time. The runes with the leadership of Witch King are heavy tanking. But Boromir, of course, if you play with Boromir well, no battalion in the game can kill him because he can keep knocking them down on the ground. His damage is not the greatest, but it's more about his passive that is able to keep winning those fights, you know? Paramir has been recruited. They are very tanky, actually, with the Witch King. Boromir... Maybe Lightning Sword, but it won't even hurt him. He's going to use Lightning Sword. He has to use Heal, but the Lightning Sword will miss the target. Boromir has been healed, but remember the heal has been nerfed in the patch 2.2. It doesn't heal you full, to full HP anymore. Only a little bit of amount of power points are missing. And he knows that Easter Egg can't be used. And he can do whatever he wants with the Witch King, such as killing those Knights of Gondor. Luckily, the outpost has been protected. Faramir getting more experience and finally two power points unlocked that will now give Gennath the chance to use the Easter Delight and he's gonna use it that's gonna chunk the Witch King but you know he won't be killed that easily. Outpost control 50% of the map it's like they are splitting the map in two pieces and even though Mordor is kind of little bit ahead because Mordor has one two three four five settlements one two three four five Gondor has only one two three so he's still missing this one at the bottom to be equal. And the outpost, once again, has no protection. It will go down eventually. He has archer range now at the castle. And he's selling those archers because he wants to have those rangers up on the field. In the meantime, troll cage, all about to hit level 2. One more troll is missing. And that's gonna give him the chance to recruit the drummer trolls. Drummer trolls, alongside with the witch king. And the power points are very close to the darkness. To unlock the darkness, I mean, that will, you know, unleash the Mordor's full strength potentially. And you will see the trolls hitting like an absolute truck, smashing everything while being extremely tanky. I'm reading all the comments, and some of the comments are saying that trolls are weak. And I don't know in which universe you are living, brother, you know, to call the trolls weak. Eventually, they are weak when they have no leadership, but imagine if they are strong without leadership. But will be if they get leadership, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm telling you, with this leadership, plus Witch King, plus Drummer, Easter Light will not deal more than 25% of their HP. So you will eventually need at least three Easter Lights to kill one single troll with this leadership, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't know, is Boromir level 4 yet? Let me take a look into the power points of Boromir. Uh, Boromir is actually level 4 and 5 even, but the Horn doesn't really do much against Mordor because trolls can't be stunned by the Horn of Gondor. And Faramir is also leadership unlocked. That's a very interesting situation we are in now because Gondor has triple leadership. The only thing he's actually missing in this situation is the For Gondor ability from Boromir. And for that reason, he needs two more levels, okay, to give 100% damage which will be extremely helpful to burst units like Trolls and heroes like the Witch King. Okay, he has now four Trolls hiding, grabbing their weapons, preparing for the World War III. <laughs> and, you know, with the full leadership, they will hit like a truck, but I believe Mordor starting very strong into this game, playing the early mid game extremely patient and smart. Now he's maybe a little bit too patient, maybe he's a little bit too slow and kind of giving up the map control and giving Gondor the incredible amount of resources. At this point, it would be even a wise choice to go for the marketplace, you know, for Gondor. The Knights. What can the Knights do though against Trolls? <laughs> Look, when you have too much leadership with Mordor, it looks like your units are healing, but they are actually not healing. It's just like the leadership effect. Drummer plus the Witch King, who is chunked, but he's healing up over time, no problemo. Now we get Rangers, four of them. They cost 25 uh, command points each, and Gondor can only recruit a few more of them. But I doubt that those four Rangers with only level 2, and even with Boromir leadership, I don't think they can do anything against the Trolls with the Darkness, Eye of Sauron, and the Witch King. For me, a little bit too many Drummer Trolls, two is totally enough. But maybe, you know, better safe than sorry. That could be the reasoning behind this choice. 
and he also goes for the combos very smart move by the way mordor combos extremely underrated and also extremely important against gondor because what's gonna happen if he unlocks the eagles then you have no firepower to destroy them it's the first time ever i believe that this lumber mill is being destroyed in this game now mordor has multiple level 3 structures in the castle and he has six of them with the industry and stuff he should be able to sustain through the economical damage no point of attacking the drummer troll with your rangers because there are too many you want to always kill the stuff that kills you first and in this case you want to aim the trolls and also the witch king full map control for gondor every single settlement has been taken and now the darkness Oh, Boromir, there comes the Lightning Sword. You want to turn on Gandalf? Look, the Lightning Sword is kind of hurting them because they are far away from the Drummer Troll and the Witch King. Some trolls are going to be taken down. Two of them has, have been destroyed. But if they get the chance to smash, they will smash. Trust me on that one. And now you got to run, my fools. And Faramir has been exposed and will be sent to the graveyard. You ain't going nowhere. Who let the trolls out? <laughs> And he's trying to put him inside. He will be able to put him inside. But where is Boromir at? I don't know. Without Boromir, it should be beautiful. But you see the damage is nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. The Rangers are though laser shooting those trolls. One of them is going to be again taken down. Gandalf has no more powers left to deal with the trolls. Besides the Wizard Plus. Wizard Plus can eventually knock them down on the ground. But that's all about it. The marketplace will be demolished by the Gondor player. And what a huge W. For the mortal player in this battle and that's what you expect from those trolls massively buffed trolls with all possible leadership what mordor faction has to offer he's gonna blast them but they don't die bro they have like darkness armor plus witch king armor they take heavily heavily reduced you know damage and now maybe a counter attack but he has only four trolls i mean not only like four trolls are equal for aragorns at this point every single one of them has the same tankiness and the same destruction power like aragorn with a tiny bit of a difference they also deal heavy splash damage and are faster so these are improved aragorn 2.0 very tanky that comes lightning sword and the drama trolls are gonna be target Rangers summon, one of the trolls is going to be taken down, but you see the effort, it has to be put in, beautiful screech to mess up the ranger summon, and the trolls, they are, are just toying, they are just joking, they are just playing around with their food, Gandalf, 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 the shield bubble is going to be able to reduce the incoming damage by a lot, and for that um, time, Gondor will be able to escape, but he's in a prison now, and in a you know like matter of a minute take a look into the minimap now scroll back in the video like two minutes ago and compare it with now you know the game isn't over until it's over but now he's making a mistake oh that was like very good actually Boromir almost level the only hope is when Poro gets level 7 or something you know or maybe with the eagles beautiful hit holy Gandalf 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 but he's gonna kill the witch king gandalf is gonna be healed now and he can even go for a pizza plus here by the way what are these knights of gondor doing they are feeding so many power points 12 almost 12 power points in the bank trolls are also inting now there is a level 5 troll gandalf is going in boom chakalaka beautiful blast and the wizard will make the difference boys but we got a white wizard pippin said that has to be good for something pippin said and he was damn right in the meantime though the outposts at the bottom side the only remaining outposts from gondor will be taken down and slaughtered by the orc warriors Pippin, the protector the peregrine peregrine of tower guard was not able to defend against this <laughs> level two black orcs now it's a heavy mistake from gondor to just go straight up for the castle you want to play front to back you want to conquer the map first before you make it to the castle of mordor at this point he has so much money and gondor is poor he's broke actually you know um he has a respectable amount of army though it's not like he's very weak but you need to at this point you need like full capacity you need like full command points of like rangers because you want to burst the trolls you can't get away from them because they are outrunning you so you want to have enough firepower that you can kill them before they can reach out to your combos or in this case 
the Rangers. Outpost will be eventually recaptured by the Gunner player. He has Eagles now and three power points on top of that. Killing the Witch King was quite helpful. What is the Gandalf doing? What is the Gandalf doing? Gandalf is getting slapped by the trolls and he will be barely able to escape. Just killing one Drama Troll with the Easter Light. If you don't know the Easter Light, no, actually he was using even the Auto Attacks plus the Wizard Blast. Witch King is going to be back very soon on the field. The revive time is pretty long, four minutes. So because it's free, the punishment is much greater. Boromir, face tanking this. Oh, Boro, one does not simply walk into Mordor, Boro. One does not simply walk into Mordor, Boro. The favorite son of Denethor has been taken down. This time, unlike in the films, not by Lurtz. It was by the trolls because he did what he said a man shouldn't be able to do and he was trying to simply walk into mordor 15 power points for mordor five power points away from the balrog almost four power points for balrog player gondor it's kind of confusing because his name is balrog and he needs six power points and a quarter to reach the eod now here is a twist the eod in this situation, is not as crazy strong, impactful as the Balrog can be. Because Balrog is able to crush armies, destroy like at least the vast majority of the castle. AOD can't target flying creatures like the Witch King. At this point, what Mordor should be doing is trying to go for all the Nazgûls. Like you have three flying creatures, you can mess up all these rangers. The way you want to handle this is you want to attack them one by one. You want to select a Nazgul, attack this battalion. You want to select a second Nazgul, attack this battalion. You want to select your Witch King, attack the other battalion. And you can keep knocking them down on the ground and they can't kill all of you. So he can kill your trolls and combos and catapults with the AOT, but your flying creatures are going to be untouched. The orcs though, slaughtering. <laughs> 15 power points and almost four. This is, now Gondor is playing a bit scared. And there comes the Eagle Summon. Eagles are dealing heavy damage to the trolls, but they are also receiving heavy damage by this. Gandalf! Boom! But they don't die, they don't die, they don't die. They have too much leadership. You want to use land before you do this crazy shenanigans. Gandalf is turning. Maybe Easter Light, Witch King, Easter Light, Witch King. Keel is going to be used. Catapults are going to be found by this uh, Knights of Gondor. Eagles are going to be taken down. One more catapult is still remaining. You want to use Easter, but it won't hit him. It won't, it won't kill him. Each level you would gain. Now he's going to die, though. Yeah, he's gonna die now. Beautiful, like good targeting here with the Witch King and the, uh, with the Ganov and the Rangers. I'm trying to see. Kill the trolls first. Don't waste on combos. Um, six power points against 18. You wanna turn and kill them, bro. You can't get away from them. And you hope that when they go crazy like this, nice. It killed two of them. Nice lightning sword also. Catapult is shooting the remaining rangers. One troll is remaining, but it's all it takes. He's trying to make it to the catapult. The other catapult from downtown is shooting. The catapult has been destroyed by this Gondor Knights. And after this, we have seven power points now for Gondor and 20 power points for Mordor. And you all know what this 20 power points are good for. It is good for the Balrog summon, ladies and gentlemen. A demon. Of the ancient world will be born very very soon and that's the power of mordor in the past 2.22 boys maybe a little bit too powerful not gonna lie <laughs> maybe a little bit too powerful maybe it needs some adjustments but that's the power of mordor nobody can tell me anything that mordor isn't strong lead kim dude like that's full power gondo by the way like oh i'm summoning the blue eyes Balrog Dragon! Whoa! Grunt! Grunt! I don't know why I'm saying Grunt, but I'm always excited. This game is so old, but it's still so gold. And there goes down the white tree. And boom, boom, chakalaka. Hot, 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 hot. You can't one shot the production buildings level 3. There comes the Easter Light from Gandalf. He's trying to be annoying from behind. But the trolls are still healthy, at least two of them. The drama troll has been taken down. The other, actually, these drama trolls are very, very low. This ranger is still remaining. And he might use one more. Nice catch, nice catch, nice catch. Go back, Gandalf. Don't die, Gandalf. The problem is Gondor is very broke, right? How much money Gondor has? Yeah, he has, like, no money. The beast is going to be saved. 
But the question is for how long? Nine power points. He still needs a whole power point. The drummer troll, the remaining one is gonna be taken down. Or will he kill? No, he almost Oh Kill him! No, he finished! <laughs> Use your belly. Belly, belly, boom, cha. <laughs> Turning, boom. Yan of the drama troll killer. Okay, 10 power points. Now he has EOD though. And he has also outpost control. Put them inside. You need some protection for the outpost. Put them inside, man. Remember, he lost the archer range and he also lost, lost the stable. But the white castle is still remaining. And Gondor has Grand Harvest, you can see the animation on these farms, that's going to be quite helpful to get back into the game, but I believe you need more than only 2-3 farms outside to actually find yourself, find yourself a way to get back into this game, you need like full map control, and you have not many units to secure you that map control, he has still 3 Knights of Gondor, but Mordor doesn't want to give you any time to recover from the damage he was able to deal, and for that reason, here, he has to use the EOD to defend himself. EOD to defend himself because one of the knights has been taken down. One part of the wall has been broken. You need to use EOD, man. You need to use EOD, bro. But the trolls are sent without the drummer troll leadership, without the witch king leadership. Where is the witch king actually at? I believe he died again. We missed that one. The trolls won't be able to destroy the white tree. And will he be able to defend this without having to use the EOD? That's a big question. The combos are very strong, but it looks like he doesn't want to risk the biscuit. He's going to summon this of breakers and that's gonna bring him lots of power points now the power points in the lead game for gondor are actually really good because you have additional summons like the rohirrim summon with the rohirrim summon you can trample combos you can destroy the siege weapons from the model player but if you can't do all of that you can just at least use them for a summon to destroy you know some lumber mills and get yourself a bit more map control to get some eco aod's time is gonna be over witch king is gonna be rejoining the battlefield and it looks like this game ladies and gentlemen it's far from being over you know i like that look i don't want to be anything i don't want to say anything but the games in 2.22 are always more interesting because there is always a comeback potential like in i played 1.06 for many many years and if you mess up the early game it was over there is no like like the punishment was too big in here you have like less punishments if you even if you make make like a mistake you can still you know kind of fight your way back into the game that's still possible which kind of makes those games last longer but also more interesting and from my personal opinion way more entertaining and you can see it's like toe to toe right the factions are not superior or weak against other faction this matchup for me personally is perfectly balanced as all things should be oh, but now we have a nazgul a second nazgul i'm a servant of the secret fire he's gonna oh he's gonna be able to hit it no he's gonna miss it nah sometimes it takes too long time the animation the lightning sword but what he could do is use great company hit him a few times a nazgul is way less tanky compared to the witch king you can kill him in a second because your ganaf is now level eight so his history will also deal uh, much more damage the outpost has no protection gondor was able to rebuild his piece but it looks like he went only for the grand harvest not for the iron ore because the blacksmiths are giving you less money now but they are still required because you need cheaper upgrades archer range level 2 balrog is reloading i would say he's still like maybe three minutes away and yeah that's what i'm talking about great company plus the easter like combination in an asgul is goners but luckily again you can revive them for free and they have also like a less revive time compared to the Witch King. So 3 minutes, 15 seconds for the Nazgul to revive com compared to the 4 minutes you need to invest to revive the Witch King. Darkness available, making combos. Rohirrim summon would be amazing here maybe. Boom. Yeah, now he's getting... Oh, what is this Eagle summon? Why, 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 why? That's a bad Eagle summon, man. That's a really bad Eagle summon. Eagles will die in a second against these combos. Nice. Drama Troll Roar ability there to scare him off. Bad Elvin Wood. Eagle 1 is down. Now the combos are immortals on this land, by the way. They have like crazy leadership. Don't do this, Gandalf the White. Don't die for the Witch King. Don't die for the Witch King. He's actually able to survive this. Witch King has been taken down. But 
for which price you will lose all your remaining army you lost two summons for this too and you also used heal for this and now you need to cancel the lightning sword and bail trolls are chasing you and balrog is almost back up now he needs three more power points to unlock the uh, cold heart which is actually way stronger than it was before and can make you give you like a chance to get a huge whole new army in a second beautiful okay ganov the good thing is ganov has not been killed a single time so good performance with the ganov rangers are going down the scavenger giving you lots of money helping mordor to have like crazy economy high power points one of them has been able was able to survive there is no well though the banner will help to respawn over time but it's gonna take you a while balrog is there in a second and all these trolls need to do is destroy like maybe 10 person of the castle because balrog can do the rest that's gonna be a beautiful blast send those orcs into the next dimension power points are rising to the sky archer range is gonna be destroyed by the trolls they are using their shoulders what is this gandalf doing and the nazgul is not gonna even die the shield bubble nazgul is gonna go down but remember there is a balrog that is available now and the trolls are still remaining there are still three trolls in your castle and you have no defense to deal with them maybe he doesn't even need to use balrog to finish off the castle because there are no towers beside this two and these two are not going to be enough darkness is still active drama troll is still dancing around and you have only one ranger level two with one remaining <laughs> archer in the banner you want to kill the drama troll but it's also easier said than done seven power points i wish we could get the chance to seal the call the heart here and another nazgul is coming did he lose the witch gandalf no he didn't lose the gandalf uh, but he lost uh, boromir he doesn't even try to revive boromir who in my opinion is so more now like look the production speed now yeah look the production speed now also from the siege works a structure bug by the way for him because he has a slaughterhouse in a black <laughs> it's funny all right the castle has been destroyed without the need of the Balrog, and he was even able to capture this for himself now gondor is only alive because of two remaining outposts and this outpost has only one ranger inside and this outpost has few archers and a faramir that's all he has for defense okay but Gandalf is still around he was able to kill the drama troll and also the nazgul and maybe he can crush the castle but he has no money to buy it back that's the problem that's why you need boromir man boromir is level 7 not only has the four gondor ability but also what he has is the potential to unlock the level 8 the four gondor ability which grants you money for each kill his heal though he's not level 10 ladies and gentlemen you shall not pass luckily it's not very effective against trolls but it's still able to knock them down on the ground he is on cooldown he needs to be careful he's holding the balrog the witch king is coming and saying you will die and he's, he's gonna go down one more hit and witch king is gonna fulfill the prophecy killing the gandalf gaining 500 resources at the end of the day it was actually the witch king that was able to kill gandalf for the first time in this game in this el classical look at him look at this profile picture there comes the demon of the ancient world he's gonna summon the eod for the defense eod is gonna eventually kill the balrog but it's gonna take a long time balrog is a tanky boy very very tanky boy but i think before eod can kill him he will be able to finish off the remaining uh, structures outpost number one is down only outpost number two is remaining the catapults are about to change that fact balrog has been taken down by the aod and gondor has the money to buy this castle back yes he's gonna summon the great um, the eagles plus the rohirrim to deal with those catapults and the nazgus one of the nazgus has been taken down the witch king is trying to get away yes and he has still army here by the way he was actually was he was able to get away from this but the problem is he's extremely poor like he's so poor he can't even buy this outpost back that's how poor he is you know 
And on the other side, you have Mordor, economical Bill Gates over here, can revive all his heroes for free. And dude, what can you say? Double castle against one outpost. He has three rangers. One of them has not even upgrades, guys, because he's that's, <laughs> he's poor, he's broke. And now he needs to go back to the outpost to defend this against the Witch King. But the question is, can those two rangers do this? Because if he loses this, it's gonna be game over. Then Asgul is chasing the Rohirrim summon. He was able to get some map control. This level 3 farm is quite helpful. He's now going back. The Zita has been destroyed. And what an endless fiesta game. And the Witch King can actually kill this man. They have no leadership, damage leadership. Farami makes them immune to fear though. And that's you see the Witch King. When you have no damage leadership, Witch King being quite tanky. People are always confused when they say Witch King is weak. But it depends on the circumstance, you know. When they have damage leadership and they are highly leveled, he is gonna die. Because let's be honest, that's the only weakness of Nazgûls and Witch Kings. Arrows and fire arrows. And Balrog knowing that he can't win. The Balrog will be defeated and Mordor will be victorious. He will shall rule the Middle Earth. Guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, if you know, make sure to leave a like to this video and also subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.